So I'm Ken Levine, I'm the creative director of Irrational Games, and um, you know, we've been doing a lot of press for, for Bioshock Infinite recently, and um, I did an interview um, a few months ago, and I kind of tend to speak my mind in interviews, and in, in this interview, let's just say I expressed some, um, some skepticism about the very concept of motion control. And I may have said a few um, uncharitable things about the PlayStation Move. So, you know, days later, a coworker um, tells me there's somebody who wants to have a, a phone meeting with me about the interview. I'm like, oh, okay, who is it? I said, Sony. And, you know, I was like, oh, great. I, I really want to have this conversation. And, you know, I took the meeting and um, I expected, you know, a lot of like, like, you know, gnashing of teeth and, and nervousness. And instead, what they said is they said, Ken, look, we want to make you a believer. And I was like, look, dude, irrational, you know, we don't do like, you know, that, you know, that's not our thing. You know, we don't do that and we, we don't do that. Um, you know, we, we do this, you know, we do the core games, you know, shock stuff. And then they said something that struck a chord with me. They said, you know, we're not, we're not talking about this and, and that. What we're talking about is removing this barrier of entry that people who love your story and love your worlds, who love the idea of Bioshock, but they just can't get their head around this. What if they could play your game? And what would you wager if you could get those people on board to try your game as well as your, as your core audience without sacrificing anything? And I said, look, I tell you what I won't wager is, is I won't wager these people. And they said, you know, look, you don't have to. So, you, know, you know, they sent us a PlayStation Move, and the first thing we noticed is that the damn thing kind of looks like a DualShock. You know, it's got all the cool buttons and everything. And we started playing around with it. And once we got past that initial anxiety that our game would translate well, we started seeing other opportunities, other ways to interact with the world, with, with Elizabeth, you know, with the skyline, how you can move around in that space. You know, but I don't have a ton of time for discussing those things. And we're going to talk about that another day. And we're just getting rolling. But we're going to have PlayStation Move on the Bioshock Infinite, on Bioshock Infinite. And the exciting part is we're just starting to get our head around what that can mean. And before I go, you know, there's this another game we've been thinking about for a long time. It's a bit of a, a pet project of Irrationals. And it's set in the Bioshock universe. And this has been kicking around for a few years now. And it's very early days and the design is still evolving. But recently, we, you know, we found the right home for it. It's on this guy. On NGP. And so this is going to be interesting, too. Um, listen, thanks, everyone. And we hope we see a lot of you at the booth to check out Bioshock Infinite. And if not, um, you can check it out online. Thanks a lot, guys.